Take your shirt off real quick. Come on, it's no big deal. Hey, I want you to take your shirt off. Come on, go right here. We got you. Today we're changing your fucking life. You're a fucking prima donna. You're a fucking prima donna. You're a prima. That's what they call you guys. Till I collapse. I'll be moving too fast. Got my foot up on the gas. Full throttle till I crash. I'm back with the vengeance. I need, I need everybody to understand this. The way you carry yourself, your discipline. You guys look at him. Does he look disciplined? No. Everybody at once. Does he look disciplined? No. Okay. All right. Does he look disciplined? What are you, is he your manager? Oh, but does he look disciplined? Come here. Come here. It's no big deal. We're all together. Okay? Take your shirt off real quick. Come on. It's no big deal. We're all together. Hey, I want you to take your shirt off. Come on. Go right here. We got you. Today we're changing your fucking life. Okay? All right. Hey, let's grab you two. Come on. Your turn. Don't be fucking copping out. Hold on. Okay. Does he look disciplined? Yes or no? No. Okay, stop. Here's the deal. You remember your fucking uh, guy? What's his name? Sam Welly? Which one? Jake Branham. Jake Branham. Blue shirt? No, no, no. The, the big dude that is a f***ing killer. You said every time he calls me, he always Sam, f Manley. Sam Manley. Sam Manley. Is that right? Yeah. He's got a crazy name, so I was in like, he's just an animal. I called him out. You remember that? Oh, yeah. I f***ing called him out. And I, what did he do? He lost 30 pounds and sold 60 new cats the same month. Listen to what I said. One month, he lost 30 f***ing pounds and sold 60 f***ing cells. You know what he said? He goes, I got called out by you and it pissed me off. It really did. I didn't like it. You don't like standing here in front of all these people, but you're a leader, right? Yeah. Bro, you got to hold yourself to your highest standard, not just for you, for him, bro. He's watching you. But when you slide, you let him slide. When you, when you take a shortcut, he takes a shortcut because they're all watching you. Now you're a big dude. You're a badass, but bro, like you're more elite in this. And people don't do this anymore. This is the era where people think that this is like fucking bad. No, this is called accountability. If I made you take your shirt off and 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 you take your shirt off, you your shirt off it shows me who you are. You can't hide. Don't people hide from the numbers? Yeah. They hide from everything. They hide from accountability. They hide from it all. But now you can't hide, can you? No, sir. Dude, look, I'm going to tell you something crazy real quick. Everybody take a look at him really fast. See him? He's actually a decent looking dude. With all the weight, with all the extra weight on his body and inflammation from eating shit food, his face is distorted, it's a little bit fat, his body's not in good shape. If he dumped out all the sodium and nasty shit he's eating, he started eating clean, he went and worked out hard, his whole body would change. Now he's a good looking dude who he's, who he's supposed to be. He looks in the mirror and likes himself, and now he's taking over the damn world. He's selling every freaking account. Number one, he knows he's a f***ing overcomer, and if something's in his way, he can fix it. Oh, yeah. Do you guys understand this? Do you guys solve other people's problems for a living, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody tell me how you can f get paid to solve someone else's problems when you can't solve your own sh Listen, it's disrespectful to tell other people that you can help them when you're not helping yourself. Now listen, I'm going to tell you the, what I'm known for. I'm not a sales trainer. I'm good at sales and I'll, I'll talk sales with you guys forever but the time that you're with me all I care about is one thing that you change until you change nothing changes your team won't change Do you want your team to sell more yeah I want you to do two things I want you to demand more out of yourself first don't even tell them as you start to change then you can de demand more out of them say guys I do it I do it and you're gonna do it too we're all gonna do it we're all going to intentionally do hard stuff every day together. Do you guys want to run around with the shirt on all the time? You want to run with your shirt off? Okay. When you have your shirt off, does it feel weird? You know you're carrying extra weight? Yeah. Don't you hate that? Don't you hate it? Do you want to run around on the beach with your shirt off? No, but you don't want to, right? Okay. Do you want to? No. Do you got a girl? Not right now. You would have one if you listen to what I say. A badass one, too. By the way, do you got a girl? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, do you love her? Five years, I do. Cool. Wife, kids, yeah. Good. You want to be the baddest ass son of a bitch for them? Of course. Can I tell you something? If you, if you end up not getting in shape, do you know what you're setting an example for your kids, right? right. Like, like, you know that. Like, your kids are going to be out of shape, too. Mm -hmm. Do you want that? No, sir. Okay. I saw this parent the other day, and I was like, well, number one reason why you got to get in shape. And look at their kids. They're all out of shape. They're all fat. They're doing exactly what you're doing. I know this. This is the this is the United States. We f 
can, I look at these mountains out here and you have no idea. People used to die when the winter came. Their whole families would die. Or they had to pack up and move. Because if you didn't go to somewhere it was warm, like you're going to die. Does that make sense? If we didn't have a warm building right now and we went back a thousand years ago, you guys would be hiding in a cave or migrating to warm. Does that make sense? We have it so f***ing easy. Everybody's a f***ing pussy. I can't believe it. And you know why? Because people tell people that, like, it's okay to, like, just whatever the f*** you want. Hey, guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you want to level up in life and business, then one thing you got to do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor, Hostage Tape, is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, you've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With Hostage Tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila, several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go to HostageTape.com and use code PASSION for 20% off your order today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. Dude, you have a great, 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 great grandpa that went through some fucking shit to get you to where you're at. You're fucking being disrespectful to him. I'm not going to be disrespectful to my fucking family. By the way, I want to tell you guys something. My family, they're all overweight. Okay, my family, they're all broke. Everybody's been broke. Generation after generation after generation. You want to break your bloodline? Yeah. Break it wide open? You want to break your bloodline? Fuck yeah. Okay, I want to tell you guys something. I'm giving you guys a chance in this room today to be remembered. I'm giving you a chance to live a life that counts. I'm giving you a chance to be a legend. I'm not joking. You're like, dude, I met Andy Elliott. I thought it was going to be sales training. He made everybody take our shirts off and look at each other and own our shit and realize that we weren't playing at our best. That right there, I just tripled y'all's revenue. Number one, I gave you guys the courage and the ability to actually start doing big shit. And if you guys can change this little stuff right here, you're going to kill it. Okay? This is real leadership. Now, I want to tell you guys something. See this team? This team is going to be built. See every single one of you? You, 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 you. You guys are all going to make this decision together. You guys hear me? Are you guys cool with that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. From now on, will we eat shit anymore? What about you? No ways. Hey, if one of them wants to eat shit, as long as they've worked out for three days, four days, and they've ate clean, good. Let them go put that in their mouth one time. But then after that, we're back to the grind. They won't want it no more after a while. They'll be like, F this. Do you guys want to be around negative people? No. If you were around, po guys, if you hung out with me for 30 days, I would change your whole life because I don't speak any negativity. When you start eating bad food, the more of it you eat, the more you're like, Fuck, I don't like good food anymore. Because you want to eat fucking shit food because shit food starts to taste really good. But when you have been eating really clean and you wake up every morning and you see how your body's changing and you see what it's doing to you and you see your mental clarity and your health. Dude, when somebody talks about like, let's go get a fucking pizza. You're like, fuck that dude. I'm not giving this shit up, man. I know what happens when I go down that road. And that's how I feel about being around the wrong people. When I'm around the wrong people, that's like me, like saying, eat a cheeseburger. And by the way, I'll eat one if I work my ass off. Me and Alex, we've been grinding all week long in the gym. This morning, we we're seeing stars in the gym, hitting legs. And we were like, tonight we're gonna go eat sushi. Some of you are like, I thought sushi was healthy. It's not, bro. Okay, like it's not. When you get into doing all the shit you're supposed to do to it. Okay, so we eat clean all week long. When he came in town, first thing I did, day one when he got here, I said, dude, get your meal prep now so you're set up all week. He went and spent, spent, 900, bucks. spent 900 bucks in food, don't, don't have to think all week long. Look, you guys work for Spartan Solar. Okay, you work for Tyco, it's all the same. You guys are a fucking army. This doesn't look like an army. It will look like an army. You see my entire team upstairs? If you guys go meet them, they were all out of shape. They all were all on their own path. And then we decided to form a team. That's what we decided to do. I can get you jacked. I can get you jacked. I can get you shredded. You're a big dude. Your frame could look just like Alex's. 
Dude, in four months, you could look just like Alex. You know that? Yeah, I lift every day at 7 a.m. So. Yeah, 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 but, but, but there's a side that you're not getting into. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, I mean, look how fucking big he is, dude. Oh, yeah. By the way, when you're big like this, that means that you're authority. That means that you demand, like, fucking presence. Does that make sense? I mean, dude, I'm way fucking shorter than you. <laughs> like, I'm telling you the truth. How many, do you want to recruit a big team? Yeah. You get fucking ripped, you get in great shape, you'll have every motherfucker at your front door ready to come. Why'd you come down here? Because Spartan. Um, because the standards that I told you that was in Spartan, am I right? Standards, for sure. Standards, get in shape. Come down here, work out. He came from Hawaii, right? Yes, sir. He came from Hawaii to come down here to be with you guys. Everybody believes that there's more to life, and a lot of people don't get it. We're going to create inside Tyco and, and Spartan Army a fucking standard. And all of you in here, look, dude, you're going to get better looking. You're going to be better to your families. You're going to fucking be good to your team. You're going to be selfless. You're going to own your shit. Everybody say own your shit. Own your shit. That means whatever you fucking did, own it. Listen to me. You're fat. You're lazy. You're fucking negative. No fucking more. Now, by the way, can you guys all be a team and hold each other accountable? Yes. Yeah. That means this. If I don't like what he's doing, I'm not a dick to say, hey, by the way, you become a dick when you lose your heart, okay? Like, guys, as I'm talking to you right now, do you feel like I'm, a, I'm an asshole or do you feel like I care about you guys? Yeah. Dude, all I want is that I want you guys to surpass what everybody thought you were capable of. What I want is that I want you guys to go make a ton of money. I want you guys to make more money than you know what to do with. But also, I want you to become savages, too. I want you to become great people. And by the way, why do something half ass He's in the gym working out every day. Finish the bitch. Finish it. Like, go elite. Finish it. But in order for this to happen, everyone on the team has to do it at one time collectively together. Okay, so let's make a deal. Is that cool? Let's make a deal. Are you willing to change? Yes. Okay, 6%. We're going to do two things. 6% of your day, five days a week. It's an hour and a half. They don't have to work out together. I would like you to have them on a team run or a team workout at least once a week. Once a week just to grind with them as the leaders. Once a week to grind with them. I don't care when it is. You do the Murph every Sunday with your team. Every Sunday. And I don't do it with the whole team. It's whoever can come. Right. But they do it yeah. and then they post their work. Does that make sense? Through that. Yes. It doesn't have to be the Murph. It could be a three mile run. Everybody's going to do it on Sunday. We're all going to post it and we're done. Does that make sense? Secondly, guys. This is like super important to me. You guys have to plug into people that push you. How old are you? 31. 31, dude. I can tell you this. I know when I look at him what I can do with him if he'll stay close to me for four months. I know what I can do. I make Alex fly down here every month for one week up to 10 days. You think he's got a lot of shit going on? But he comes down here. And every time he comes down here, he's like, dude, I just learned how you handled that. I just learned how you handled that. Dude, I just see how you're operating with your team now. I just see this. And every time he goes home with a whole new mindset plan ready to go. You guys are local in Arizona, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I want you guys to totally stay close to me. By the way, here's my deal. I'm 44. You're fucking young. You guys are young. You guys have the unfair advantage to go smash everybody. Okay? By the way, be loving savages. You can have blood on your hands and be a killer but also be loving to people and kind. I want to make you guys truly an example. We're going to make a ton of money, but an example to anybody and everybody that runs across your path. You go, dude, I fucking like you, man. You go in the grocery store, I want people walking by and be like, dude, what do you do? Are you a football player? No, man, I, sell, I run a solar team. Dude, you look amazing. Thank you. It's not about you. It's about them, but you've inspired them to want to go to more now. Does that make sense? I want your energy to be up. I want you to freaking care more. But dude, you guys are buddies. Dude, listen to me. If he's your real buddy, you need to f inspire him. That's what real buddies do. We do if we compete. Right yeah, now. good. But that's what I want. But by the way, not just you two. Now we need the whole f team to do it. Now I get we're going to go off in ones and twos because we're going to have workout partners and shit. But we got to do this as a f team. So I want to tell you guys, I love you guys. I love, I love Spartan Solar. I believe in it. I believe that solar is a product, right, that now that every homeowner in the world needs. But I believe who we become will decide if our company puts it in every home. Who we become. Not how great our pay plan is. Not, 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 not even pricing. This hasn't anything to do with any of that. How great you guys become. So some of you, like the guy in the glasses, 
People will count you out. They're like, that guy's not going to be anything. Yeah, he's not going to be nothing. They have no fucking clue. I'm going to tell you what I know. I know underdogs kick everybody's ass when they get serious. When they get serious. You guys ain't been serious. So by the summertime, which, what is it, February? You got February, March, April, May. That's four fucking months. You need to set it up as the leader. Weekly pictures. Food. How we're going to do this. Hey, by the way, we're going to triple down on how hard we work too. We're going to train hard. You're going to self-develop. You're going to stay plugged into good shit. You're not going to drink. Make a deal in the company. No drinking for four months. Nobody drink one fucking sip of alcohol. Not one. Four months, we're going to fucking grind. You guys cool with that? Yes. Anybody not cool with it? See, this is how you become great. You start to draw lines and you're like, fuck that. That's not going to be a vice to me anymore. Go get your endorphins firing and grinding in the gym. I mean it. I'm not even fucking around. Dude, seriously, like, become a killer, dude. And, and, and the only reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I did what I'm telling you. And I still do it to this day. What I just, the advice I just gave you, I wish somebody, how old are you? 24. I wish somebody would have done it for me at 24. I wish somebody would have fucking pulled me in the front of a room and said, take your fucking shirt off. See what you fucking look like. Is this who you are? And I'd have been like, fuck no. And they'd have been like, good. That's the last time someone's going to see you this way. I don't ever want you to see yourself like this. You're better than this. Other people have fucking fucked with your head or you fucked with your head, but this is not who you are. And that's why I love Spartan Solar. This is an ability for you, a place where you guys can grow like, and develop like mentally, physically, and financially. And we need more good people. Do you guys agree we need more good leaders in this world? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So my generation did a bad job making more leaders. You know what my generation did? I'm 44. They fucking call you guys prima donnas and fucking pussies. They're like, you're a fucking prima donna. You're a fucking prima donna. You're a prima donna. That's what they call you guys. You guys aren't prima donnas. You didn't have any good leaders. Because all the fucking leaders turned into fucking pussies themselves. And they got lazy. I'm not getting lazy. So I'm just trying to tell you guys that, look, I know the, I know the goal here. The solar game. We're going to take over the fucking world. We're going to be the best at what we do, and we're going to be number one. But we got to figure out how to be elite human beings. What value is there to make a lot of money and not get both? Do you feel me? Yeah. And dude, you're, if you said you're working out every morning at 7 a.m., I already know that you see yourself. I already know you're taking your shirt off. I already know when the gym's over. I already know how you feel when you work out. You know that bug that you feel while you got to work out? I need them to feel this. It is your responsibility to make them Fall in love with why you go to the gym. Now you just got to get disciplined, which is the food part. You guys listen to me in four months, it's over. So I do events every month. Okay, what are my events? My events are sales training events. Okay, I like teaching people how to sell. That's my favorite thing. But the problem is if I train somebody how to sell and they don't believe in themselves or they don't have confidence. I mean, dude, honestly, dude, if I wasn't in good shape, I couldn't have any confidence. It's just the truth. Like I find confidence by looking at myself where the day starts and I'm like, fuck yeah, I like me. All right, let's go. Let's go do this shit. And by the way, I, I think I'm fat. I got a, my workout fitness trainer, have y'all seen Aaron the big fucker who's always with me? He's like got a 19 pack. He thinks he's fat. When you become so obsessed with getting to new levels, it's just never enough. It's like it's never enough. It's the most healthy disease in the world. My wife, I make her fall more in love with me every day. I want her to love me more. Never enough. Okay, when you guys got in solar, remember you guys wanted to make a lot of money? Do you remember that? Did you get into solar because you want to make a lot of money? Yeah. Remember why you fucking started and go back to day one. Remember why these guys said yes. Remember why you said you were going to be the leader. Remember, remember all of this together, guys. Why the fuck we're doing this? What this is about? The time's going to pass anyways. Either we're going to be fucking winners and kill it or we're going to be fucking losers and so what are we going to do with the time? So I watch everybody just getting their fucking ass kicked, man. It makes me sick. So this is the time where I can get people together. I can get a few people to take their fucking shirts off. And I can just expose and open everybody to like, let's let the air out of the room. We're all really not giving our best. And then we change. And when you change, everything changes. But I want you guys to change at a team. Is that cool? Okay. You're in good shape. You need to fucking help the people who aren't. That's your job. Okay? Whoever you guys are in here in fitness, you're fucking in good shape. You need to diet down. And I want you, I want you to be the flagship 
in Spartan Solar for how a mother can change in body through the whole company. I want on, uh, with Alex on every call to be like, hey, pull up your pictures, bro. Show them what you used to look like. I'm not even playing around. For all the new people that came in, this is our standard. We don't care how you come in. What we care about is how you change. I want him to do it. See this guy right here? Yeah, you. You want to get shredded? Yes, sir. Have you ever been? Yes. Yeah, dude. Like, like dude, like, that's got to eat you up, right? I watch these people. They get depressed and they eat, eat away until they become like a tick. It's just... It's like, bro, like I want to get in the fucking cupboard and eat all the ice cream too. But the next day, I'm like, fuck. I'm fucked. Does that make sense? Now, you got to have skill. Would everybody agree you got to have skill? No. Okay, you got to get in great shape, but you got to have skill too. Because are you good at selling solar? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's important to have skill, right? Some people don't have any skill. Some people go to doors and they stutter, they get stuck. People say no. You can tell they're starting to panic. Like, you got to learn how to get through that shit. Like the biggest thing that'll make you the most money is your mouth. So you got to be really good at using it and you got to have wordplay. You got to be able to play with your words really good. You got to articulate your words in different places. Listen, here's a secret. You guys are young. So when you go to a homeowner's door, normally they're 40 years old and older, oh, older, right? So if I look at you, how old are you? 26. Yeah, he's 26 and I'm 45. I'm like, he could be my son. So I'm like, why is my son telling me how to spend my money? That's why you got to be really good at speaking, man. That's why when you talk, your words got to flow like water. So they're like, okay, all right, all right, come on in. Let's talk about this. Does that make sense? You guys know the ones in the company that can speak the best are the ones that make the most money. Would you guys agree? Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.